good morning students welcome back to prakash cbse channel yesterday i have given an introduction part of circles so today we will see the main important theorems in the circle chapter so there are two main theorems in this chapter so 100% from these two theorems you will get one theorem in your board exams so let's get into that first one is tangent radius theorem so actually they will not ask or like prove that uh, tangent radius theorem all they will ask with the statement only so here you may get like this prove that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact so yesterday we discussed what's mean by tangent and what's mean by the point of contact also in the introduction part so let's take the tangent at any point of a circle let's draw one circle with tangent so a b is the tangent and we have to prove that the radius means from o, P, o to p so this o to p is the radius of the circle this is perpendicular to the tangent only we have to prove for this proof only this construction we are taking so let's see now take the given data a circle with center o so circle with center o and a b is tangent to a circle so this a b line only tangent to the circle and p is the point of contact so this p is the point of contact and what we have to prove to prove op perpendicular to ab so op is the radius here so radius through the point of contact that's we have to prove perpendicular to the radius okay then for the proof what we are using construction here draw a line o to q so from o to q you draw the line which intersect the circle at r so the line will intersect at the point r now let's go for the proof so op is equal to r can we say in the diagram see op is equal to r because the radius of the circles are equal so we can take it then oq is equal to o to q line we can write into two part or plus rq so that only we are writing then when you compare this OQ line, see OQ line is a greater than OP because this is the shortest line, this is the longest line. So this will be a greater. So we are taking OQ greater than OP or we can say OP is less than OQ also. Then one small condition here we are taking. We know the shortest distance between a point to a line is perpendicular distance between the point and a line. See for example when you take one point and one straight line okay so for the point and the line what is the shortest distance for example when you draw this is the shortest distance no and is this shortest distance no so when you draw straight exactly so this will be the shortest distance then the shortest distance means that will be a perpendicular so that only we are writing here the shortest distance between a point to the line is perpendicular distance between the point on the line so therefore we can say the shortest distance is this only so op perpendicular to ab therefore hence prove that's we have to prove op perpendicular to ab hence prove so hope that you understand this theorem and this theorem we are going to use for the second theorem also means the statement we will use for the second theorem if you not understand please put it in the comment section again i can explain you thank you so much for watching so next theorem please watch because that's also important